Hey guys, welcome to the 51st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the split method and the two character array method. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. Once you have that on your form, just double click on it. So, here we have this string called names, and inside of this name string, you have six names. And each name is separated by a semicolon. Well, say we wanted to create a string array where each element inside of the string array was one of these names. Well, there are a few different ways we could do this, but the easiest way is to use the split method. So the split method returns a, uh, a string array. So we're going to go ahead and create a string array right here for it to um, put all the information into. So we're just going to call this name array, and then we'll set it equal to its splitting its names. So we're just going to do names dot split, and the split method will um, read until it finds um, a character that you want it to split at. So it will read these, and since our character that's separating each one of these is a semicolon, we're just going to put semicolon right here. We'll do semicolon. And what it will do is it will read until it finds a semicolon. And when it finds that semicolon, it will stop reading, and then it will put it into this uh, string array right here. And then it will skip over it and continue reading again. So it will read Bob since it finds a semicolon, and then put it into the string array. And we'll continue doing that over and over until it finds the end of the string. So what we'll be left with is a string array that has an element for Adam, Bob, Joe, and so on. And that's exactly what we wanted. And you can make this separator character anything you wanted. For example, if you wanted it to separate by like a period or like a parenthesis or something like that, you could do that. But I find the easy, easiest one is a semicolon. So once you have that all set, just uh, close the parentheses, and now we'll have a string array with Adam, Bob, Joe, Steve, Alan, and Matt inside of it. So now we're just going to use a for each statement to loop through this name array and make sure that it works. So it's going to be for each string name in this name array right here. And then we're just going to print it out into a message box. So now when we debug, we should get a message box for Adam, Bob, Joe, Steve, Alan, and Matt. Yep, we got one for all of them. And as you can see right there, we didn't have like Adam, semicolon, or semicolon, Bob. It just skipped over this. And that's really nice about the split method, so we don't have to worry about fixing that up later on. So that's pretty much it for the uh, split method. We're now going to be moving on to the two character array method. Now basically what the two character array method will do is it will take all the characters inside of a string and put them into a character array. And this is very useful when trying to get all the letters of the alphabet or something like that. So say we wanted to create a character array for each letter of the alphabet. Let's call this like letters. Well we could, or we'd have to do this, we'd have to do and create an, an element for each one of the characters, which is very time consuming. So what we could do instead is use the two character array method. So we're just going to go up here and create a string called letters. We'll set this equal to all the letters of the alphabet, just like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Now we can use the two character array method to convert this um, string right here into a character array. So it'll create um, an element inside of this character array for each character inside of this string. So we'll have an element for A, one for B, one for C, and so on. So now we can just do underscore letters dot two character array. And it says copies the characters in this instance to a Unicode character array. So it just converts it into a character array. And now we'll just use a for each statement to loop through this character array and make sure that it works. Alright, so now we should get the message box for A, for B, for C, and so on. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So, see you guys.